I have a small doll haul for you guys from this doll show. And I got these two Blythe Boutique dolls, which I'm going to make a video. They're not dolls, excuse me, clothes um, for the Blythe doll. I'm going to make a video just for these. But I also got um, some... This is the... Barbie Happy Family um, Ryan and Nikki outfits. This is their like um, a little smaller than Kelly the girl is and a little bigger than Kelly the boy is. But this is a pretty rare set. I'm actually going to be asking $45 for this set of clothes. So those are good things to look out for. Kelly clothes. Um, this is Kelly Club, two Kelly Club outfits on the cards. These probably I'll get about $20 each for as well. Um, also, I got a Fashion Avenue Ken set and a England Royal Barbie. It's not her original box. This is just a box they put her in. But she really kind of reminds me of that Miss America Barbie I did a video on a while ago. The Walk Lively Barbie, right? Doesn't she look just like her? I also found this Head to Toe Dawn doll. Um, she's going to get her own video too. Because I had, or she probably already, you probably already seen her video. Um, and the booklet that came with her. And I also picked up this funny little Pee Wee Herman. He's like one of those clipper guys. It says, hello, I'm Pee Wee Herman. Um, I also got these Tommy, which is Barbie's uh, little sister Kelly's friend. I believe he's a friend. Um... His outfits, two of them on card. I'm going to ask 20 bucks for the two of those. Those are pretty good to find. And then I got these two Barbies. This is Ken and Barbie. They are, I'm sure, yacht rocking it out. They're actually called C-11, Ken and Barbie. And they are, they, they were not um, introduced in the U.S. These are foreign made. These ones are probably European. They have some that you could get in Canada as well. But I believe these ones are from Europe. They're from 1984 and they're um, pretty rare and hard to find. You know, I love advertising, and I thought this was so cool. It's Cupy pork and beans in tomato sauce. So it's like a cute, it's a, a just an old bean can, but Cupy doll brand, which I thought was really interesting. I didn't realize they had that, but you know, I'm sure there's tons of stuff I didn't realize they had, but um. You can tell there's not really any food information on here. This is a really old can. I mean, obviously from the rust, you can tell that. But I would say probably 50s, maybe. Um, and I paid a dollar or maybe two dollars for this. But um, I thought that was really interesting and that somebody would really be wanting this. And so I didn't get too many things at that sale because the prices were high, but um, I did get some pretty neat things. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye! So this reseller section is going to be really quick because um, I kind of talked about things during the haul video. So if you didn't watch that, go back and watch that. It's only four-ish minutes.
this haul I actually recorded last October. I had gone to this doll show and I made several videos from the Blythe stuff and the Dawn stuff, but I guess I never made a whole video. Anyway, these Blythe clothes, um, I paid up for them. I paid $50 for each set. However, I did sell them for $150 each. And I knew that Blythe stuff, this clothes, and the dolls as well, sell for quite a bit of money. So you can um, look up vintage Blythe dolls and the ones from the 70s can sell for hundreds, even thousands of dollars sometimes. This Cupid can was kind of a shot in the dark. I paid two bucks for it. I wasn't really sure, but I knew there's Cupid doll collectors, food collectors, advertising collectors, and so I thought it was pretty neat, and I did end up getting 20 bucks for it. A lot of people think that these pink box Barbies aren't worth very much. These two are from 1984. Now they are foreign, which of course usually adds some value to things. And these two sold for about $50 each. Um, if you find the skipper of this version, it usually can sell for up to 180 to 100 because it's quite a bit harder to find. Now these sets are newer. This Ryan and Nikki, I think it's 2013-ish. And the Tommy and the Kelly ones are a little earlier than that. But they just don't have very many Kelly clothes and accessories available. So they can go for some pretty decent money. And this last one here is another one of those 80s pink box Barbies. She's an England Royal Barbie. And... I'm not sure how much I paid for her. I think I paid $5, but I ended up selling her for $27.50. This is one of those toys where sometimes when you look up the comps on eBay, they are all over the place. Some sell for $8, some sell for $40. <laughs> this one, she was more around the $15 to $25 range, and I tend to shoot for the high end of the range every time especially if the condition is good. But either way, I would shoot for the high end of the range and then you can always take offers. So that's everything, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments if you are enjoying these reseller notes on videos and if you find them helpful. All right, see you next time. Bye.